Welcome back to another vlog. More packages? Got a really big kitchen and delivery. It's just so pretty. Uh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> I am making these killer noodles that have been so freaking good and so addicting. Hi, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Well, wasn't that little coffee spill super graceful? <laughs> but hey fam, welcome back to another vlog. Starting off my morning a little bit later than usual. It is now 10.30 in the morning. Egan is still out at his workout, so he should be coming home soon. And I've got a really, really lengthy to-do list today. And if you are new here, first of all, hi, my name is Haley. It's so nice to meet you. I am currently five months pregnant with baby girl number two. I'm gonna quickly prep myself a salad before I get on with my day. Like I mentioned, you guys, there's a lot of like little home updates that I gotta take care of. Lots of packages I gotta unbox as well. I got a huge H&M home order the other day and I've actually never gotten anything from H&M home. So I'm so curious to see like what those items end up looking like. And also a big thank you to Birch Living. They are actually sponsoring today's video. We were in desperate need of a mattress upgrade. So Birch is really coming through and I'm so excited to switch up our mattress so I can actually get some better sleep because getting comfortable has been so difficult with this growing belly. Also, wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all of you guys. You have been really loving the vlogs lately. The comments have been so super sweet. I do know that recipes and cooking was definitely something you all wanted to see more of because over on my Instagram, I always share what I'm eating. So I'm definitely gonna try to incorporate like one or two recipes or little cooking segments throughout each of these vlogs. And on the menu tonight, I am making these killer noodles that have been so freaking good and so addicting. And it's actually a recipe that my mother-in-law gave me. So for the first time, I'm doing something outside of TikTok. For the base of the salad, you could really chop up any veggies you like. I usually stick with my nice basics. I have a bell pepper in there, a tomato, some Persian cucumbers, and then I add in some iceberg lettuce for some extra crunch. I keep it really simple for the dressing because I like a lot of the flavor to come from the feta cheese. So I just season it with some salt. You could use any oil. I like avocado oil though, because it's a little bit more um, neutral tasting. I really love adding basil to this, but I ran out of fresh basil basil but dry basil works just as well and then I also have the juice of half a lemon going in here and then the last step is just adding in your crumbled feta you're just gonna toss that in as well and then finally just give that all a good mix and you're done And sometimes if I'm in the mood to like add some kind of protein, I would either add like baked salmon or some hard boiled eggs. Or if I wanted to add chicken, I would. I would just make sure not to include feta because I keep kosher so we don't mix like meat and dairy. So good. I think I just love the saltiness of it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this while I respond to all the emails that I have to take care of. I do definitely feel like I've been a little bit burnt out lately with work. I feel like YouTube and Instagram alone take up so much time when it comes to like filming and editing and posting and content and photos. We wanna go ahead and hire an editor. I'm just really hoping that doing that will just really help us with our workflow and allow us to just put emphasis on other responsibilities and growing our business and growing the brand. Hubby just came home and he's all sweaty after the gym. More packages? Hey, we have so much packages. We really have like 15 packages we haven't opened yet. Well, good thing is when you're on your way to get Aaliyah today, I'm going to open up all those H&M packages that take up so much space That's and great. we got to do the mattress. It's not bad though. <laughs> Honestly, it arrived in a very compact box, so it's not bad. Okay, so this is the plan. I'm going to go upstairs and you're going to open the mattress and bring it. Out. I just came back from a workout. Are you going to make me do another one? You can have a 10 minute break. Two days. Have a 10 minute break. I'll call you up in a few minutes. <laughs> Babe, this backpack is so ugly. It like ruins the aesthetic in our house. You should have bought me a backpack. That matches the house. <laughs> oh my God. All your stuff is finally clean. Go, put it away. I'm learning from you, babe. You started this whole trend of leaving everything around. Yeah, but before I head on upstairs, I wanted to show you guys my little maternity outfit of the day. It's just a regular top, but I really like tops that are like super flowy here because it gives the belly a lot of room to grow. But the pants I'm wearing are from Amazon and I love them so much because they are actually not maternity at all. So anybody can get them. They are incredible linen pants that I got for like $25, but they go right over the bum. So if you are pregnant, these ones are really great. They come in a bunch of different colors too, but I do like them in this nice cream because it like matches a lot of stuff. This match 
mattress is just too squishy like every time i sit on the edge especially i kind of sink down i just feel like it's not properly holding me so i wanted to give a big thank you to birch living for sponsoring today's video i'm so excited that we now have our new birch mattress i did so much research on different mattresses and i really feel like this one is going to have everything that we need i love like the mattress in the box concept because it's a lot easier to handle even though as you guys just saw i didn't really do much no you did not and i knew a trooper but it wasn't that bad birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are both stylish comfortable and environmentally conscious oh, wow. uh oh my gosh are you okay yeah <laughs> but that opened up so freaking quick i know oh it literally knocked the camera out of my hands this is the bottom oh that's the bottom yeah so let's flip it yeah. oh no this is the bottom okay I feel like mattress changing is not something you should do with a pregnant wife. <laughs> All right, first impressions, you guys. This definitely feels firmer than my last mattress to the point where it's still soft, but it's not sinking me in, Oh, which is exactly what I needed. One of the things I hate the most about mattresses is when you open them up and you have to let them off gas. So all of those chemicals and toxins can kind of air out. All those toxins are going into the air that you're breathing. So something that really appealed to me about the Birch mattresses is that there's no off gassing at all. And that's because their non-toxic mattresses are actually made here in the US. They're crafted with natural and organic materials and they're sustainably sourced And if you know anything about materials, you know that synthetic materials tend to cause you to sweat So because the materials in this mattress are 100% organic It means that they're also more breathable and they're supposed to kind of regulate your body temperatures My birch mattress also came with two of their eco rest pillows and I obviously got them in the king size to match my bed These pillows are made from recycled plastic bottles But they're really breathable and the fact that it's recycled materials definitely makes it better for the environment as well Birch actually offers 100 nights that you can sleep on this if you don't love your mattress for whatever reason they'll actually pick it up for you and they'll give you a full refund birch also offers a 25 year warranty with free shipping within the u.s right to your door and i was actually able to score you guys an amazing deal if you click the link down below you will actually get 400 dollars off your birch mattress along with two free pillows so really you guys are all set click the link down below right now to check out birch living i mean come on my new comfy mattress my pregnancy pillow from amazon and i can actually say that i'm really excited for bedtime tonight <laughs> All right, y'all. As you guys can tell, got a really big H&M delivery. I don't fully remember what I got, but I do know a lot of these stuff are like stuff from H&M Home. Everything was 20% off. Ooh, my basket. Okay, so I got a couple of these baskets. As you guys know behind me, we actually have that shelf. I showed it to you guys in a previous vlog. I got some baskets on the bottom and you guys said to add baskets to the top as well. I think with the discount, each of them ended up being like $11, which is nothing. I love that they kind of have more of a rounded shape rather than a square. So I got four of those. All right, next. Oh, so I recently also started buying some things for baby girls nursery H&M home has the cutest like neutral designs when it comes to like bed sheets and changing pad patterns So I got a couple here is one. It's just like a nice speckle print And then something else that you guys do not want to sleep on is the vases that they have at H&M home They are so freaking beautiful and like really affordable as well, especially if you grab them on sale I got this one right over here. It's huge and it's stunning But this really looks like a piece that is so expensive and I think I was able to get it maybe for $25. I think I'm gonna go ahead and style it with like some eucalyptus leaves Maybe on top of that shelf over there It's just so pretty and it really goes with like all the cool odd shapes that we have in like my portraits behind me Oh, I love that and then this final box over here all right, this is a mix and mash of a lot of stuff. First, I have some more um, baby crib sheets. Baby Girls Nursery is gonna have a lot of green and a lot of sage. I love the pattern of this one with the leaves and the flowers. And the way that I like adding color into nursery, rather than just like painting a wall, I like to add it in accents, like the pillows, some of the toys, some of the prints on the wall. I think this is another vase that I got. Okay, here's another one. How gorgeous. It's actually a slightly different off-white than this with like a little palm leaf inside. This would look stunning. Okay. And these are so freaking cute, you guys. Salt and pepper shakers. Come on, you've never seen salt and pepper shakers that are this aesthetic before. How adorable. They were super affordable as well. I think it was like $7 for the set. And by the way, I'm gonna be sure to link everything down below if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. But so 
freaking cute you guys i love dressing up Aaliyah in neutrals like i still put pink on her but every time i do get pink clothes it's always like a really nice blush or like pastel pink so i picked up these two little sets over here and in this really pretty like blush pink as well she is no doubt always the best dressed baby in her class oh so cute but that's everything that i got from h&m have to try to find a place for everything now Aaliyah, say hi everybody hi hi she's wearing some of her new h&m clothes already that i got last time you want cheese Yes? Say yes. Yes. Say thank you. Dada. Dada. Hi. Kiss mama. Hi. This girl's getting like really comfortable with vlogging lately. Every time she sees the camera, like she's just putting on a show all the time. <laughs> Did you drop your cheese in the vase? Alia, do you need the cheese? Ma. <gasps> let me let me help you. Gimme? Oh my gosh, and the seaweed is in there too. Ew. That's kind of gross. Okay, we're not eating that. We really just have to give this girl clothes and baskets and she keeps herself so busy. But Erin, look, she has better habits than I do. She actually folds her clothes and put them away. Learn, Good job, Aaliyah. Learn if you're better than your mom. Actually, from your clothes. Don't you start. <laughs> Good job, Papa. She's gonna dump it all out now, just look. <laughs> and she's gonna keep doing it again. That's literally how she keeps herself busy. It's the funniest thing. Again? Eran, maybe close your door. I can literally hear you pee. Good. <laughs> For Aaliyah's dinner, I'm just gonna give her some leftovers. I made some chicken earlier this week, and then we have some rice also. She is so obsessed with rice, like any kind of rice dish she loves. And lately what I've been doing is I've actually been serving her in these silicone plates that are like super sticky so she can't move them. And I also noticed that she's very much the kind of girl that likes her food to be separated. She eats a lot better when everything is separate. So putting everything in its own little like slots and compartments has been really good for her. Okay, but you have to wait, mama. I know, you have no patience when you're hungry, just like your mom. You guys hear all these mmms and sounds that she makes? That's her every time she eats something she likes. Like I promised, I wanted to go ahead and show you how I make my favorite noodles recipe. This is actually a very easy no-cook noodle. You don't even need a pot or a pan for this. You really just need hot water. And the incredible noodle discovery. I don't want to say discovery. I didn't make this discovery. But it's actually called bean thread noodles. If you know what vermicelli is, it's basically rice noodles that are super, super thin. But what I don't love about the rice noodles is that they actually break apart very easily. You can overcook them easily. These ones are almost impossible to overcook. They also don't stick together and they have the best texture when you cook these they actually become sweet hence why a lot of people call them glass noodles water is almost done boiling i know i said you don't need a pot you really don't need a pot you could just use any container with a lid to cook your noodles in this is what the noodles look like when they come bunched up so i'm just gonna place that in the pot i'm gonna pour like a good amount of salt in there because i want the noodles to have a little bit of that salty flavor and then just pour your hot boiling water right on top of the noodles. And I'm basically just gonna let this sit for about seven minutes. To go ahead and make the dressing, I personally like making these really garlicky because I really like garlicky noodles. Into my bowl, I'm just gonna grate about half a garlic clove, one flat tablespoon of sugar. This stuff makes all the difference. We're gonna do a tablespoon of ground coriander. You can skip this, it'll have less of a spice taste, but if you add this, it will be 10 times better. So one whole tablespoon of that. These noodles are really good if they're slightly spicy, so you could either add chili flakes, but in this case, I'm just adding a nice squirt of sriracha. Then for the liquids, we're gonna do three tablespoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon of a neutral tasting oil, so I'm using avocado oil, two tablespoons of sesame oil, the main ingredient here is soy sauce, so we're gonna do six tablespoons of that. I personally use the low sodium one. And then finally, you're gonna want a good amount of sesame seeds in here. Give that all a good mix. How cool are these, you guys? They literally became like translucent. So next, I'm just gonna strain them out and rinse them with some cold water. Noodles are all ready to go. I'm just gonna mix them in with the dressing. It's way easier to do this with a glove, so. I'm just gonna pour that in and mix it up. I just played it with some avocado, a couple nori leaves. You can add cucumber to this too. I 
I have never been so excited to dig into my dinner. Even though there's not much protein in this, I'm probably gonna go ahead and make myself a little piece of salmon to have later. These are no doubt the best noodles I've ever had. You guys need to try this. This is for sure one of my favorite recipes and it is so easy. It took under 10 minutes to make and this goes so well into the fridge. You can have leftovers for the next two or three days. If you guys have made it to this point and you're watching me munch out on noodles, you are seriously the real MVPs. You're my favorite kind of people. If you made it to this point, then comment down below, send nudes. But write nudes like N-O-O-D-S, like noodles, because you know, we're still trying to be rated PG-13 here. But I really feel like I had such a long day today. I still have a couple more emails I have to get to. And then I really just can't wait to get a really good night's sleep, hopefully, with my new birch mattress. I mean, there's really nothing more important than getting a good night's sleep. So be sure to take advantage of the amazing deal that birch is having. You can click the link down below in my description. Right now, if you use my link, you can get $400 off any birch mattress along with two free pillows. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to comment down below if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the amazing Hey Family. Sending you all really good nudes <laughs> oh my gosh Haley you are so cringe